Welcome, foot travelers. I'm Micah. And I'm Simon. We are back to Bacano in Las Vegas at the Caesars Palace. I was excited to come back and try this one because it's been close to a year, Micah, since we actually went over and tried it the first time. So, of course, you know, the, uh, the uh, Bacano Buffet is known as the King of Buffets. And it's always nice to see if, you know, it retains its crown. And so here we are. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to uh, try this one out. Uh, yeah, like Simon said, it's been almost a year uh, since we've been back. And I, I've seen and heard a lot of uh, new items here. And I'm really excited to try everything out. And just like the last time, we also uh, made reservations online and prepaid in advance. And I'm really glad we did that because when we got there, there were other people ahead of us and trying to walk in and they were turned away. Yeah, that's definitely something that if you are planning to come eat at Bacano, do make those reservations because um, as Micah said, yeah, we were there going in to check in during our reservation time and there was a group of people who were, you know, in front of us standing in line thinking that they could just stand in there and go grab a ticket to buy something and then they ended up getting turned away. So, you know, that's always a disappointment. So definitely, uh, make your reservation so you don't have to deal with that. Yeah, and as you watch this uh, walkthrough here, there's actually a lot of items. I don't remember seeing these uh, lobster claws and all these uh, different seafood items like the first time when we came here and I'm really excited to try all of this stuff out and actually they're, they look pretty good. Yeah, definitely from the first time we went to now, it's definitely uh, an improvement. Um, definitely there's additional items like Micah said. Um, so, you know, that, that value that they're trying to put in as being the King Buffet, it's definitely there. I, I, I see where the, you know, the effort is, um, compared to other casinos. They definitely like to go above and beyond, um, giving you a lot of different varieties and not just the variety itself, but, you know, just the quality of the, uh, of the food that they provide. So that's one of the things I always, always really, really like about Bacano and, you know, just the things that they do, it just stands out. Yeah, and I, re I remember the first time when we came here last year, I, I believe it was like a two hour uh, time limit. Uh, and then I think this time they reduced it now to just uh, 90 minutes. But uh, luckily, since we, we came really late, uh, I feel like it was a little bit longer than 90 minutes uh, since we were here till about closing, right, Simon? Yeah, pretty much we were here until they started kind of uh, pulling out some of the some of the food. But um one of the things I did notice that that they did do is pretty much all the way till the very end, they're always kind of filling um, sections of food, especially the popular items where they were, you know, continuously just putting out, you know, uh, uh, freshly cooked items. And so, you know, even if you're thinking about eating towards kind of the closing time, um, just something to note that, you know, they're rarely good at giving you the fresh cooked food and you're not sitting there you know, towards the end of the day and having to eat all the uh, all the food that you know has been sitting around for a while because that's just not the case yeah that's something i really really liked about bacano there's always uh, fresh food and even like where we were sitting we were sitting towards the asian section where um we could kind of see the chefs in the background and they're just uh cooking new items and putting out new items like almost every half an hour or, or less and just about any time something is starting to uh, deplete itself through the plates and they're just adding more and more and it's steamy hot um, one thing uh, I, I did notice that was brand new since uh, last year was the beef ribs and I was really really excited to try those um, but I, I do have to say I, I was a little bit disappointed because I had such high expectations of them but it's, it's still good overall to see and have that in a buffet. Yeah, I completely agree that, you know, 
of course, if, if you don't know why we have such high expectations for for beef ribs, um, we did do some Texas barbecue episodes. So if you want to take a look at those, you'll see why. But we did have some great beef ribs down in Texas, and you know it's one of those things that once you eat something that's so great, you know you can't help but to compare. Um, by all means, it, it's definitely a, a good beef ribs, but you know, compared to uh, those who specialize in beef ribs itself, like those barbecue places that we've been to down in Texas, in Houston, and Austin, it's just, uh, you know, you can't help to compare and, and it's not quite to that level, but still overall, I think uh, not bad, especially for a buffet. And another uh, new item that I noticed here is the Mexican uh, section. It's, it, it used to be like a uh, grilled corn uh, style. I think it was like Mexican street corn, I believe. I, I don't quite remember which one it was, but I, I know they, they had grilled corn and now they changed it to, I think, uh, tacos. Yeah, right? they changed that station. Uh, it was the uh, Mexican street corn at that time when we went last year. Um, and now it's, uh, it looks like they're just kind of using it to heat up some, uh, some meat um, for those tacos. Still pretty interesting to see how they kind of do, but um, you know, with this time, just the fact that they added so much different uh, foods to try, um, you know, you can see that they really try to think about all the different offerings to, to kind of entice people to come in and kind of give you that value because, you know, the price, you know, it is pretty steep for, for this buffet. But for me, I don't know about you, Micah, but for me, it feels like I do get value for it. So I, I don't feel kind of cheated as I walk out and thinking, oh, I can't believe I paid this just for this. You know, I pretty much am, am happy. Um, as I leave the buffet, you know, even though it's such a high price, but but it seems like it's worth it to me. Yeah, I, I agree, Simon. Uh, I, I think for Las Vegas, as many may have uh, been there before, Las Vegas is known for the higher price point in general. So with with uh, these uh, higher prices and, and, and coming to uh, Bacchanal, uh, I, I was expecting that little bit higher price point and for the value, I, I do think it is really good. Uh, there are so many varieties and so many different options. You pretty much can uh, get everything you want. And as you saw in the video, there's also those uh, Vietnamese uh, snails. And those were a little slimy. I mean, I would probably never order those anywhere, anyways. But have it be in the buffet, I get to try it out. Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of the buffet is you get the you get that opportunity to try things that you might not try before, you know, especially um, not wanting to pay something for one kind of dish that you're not sure about. And that's one of the things that are so great about buffet. And in this case, they're just, like I said, like um, we talked about earlier, the variety is so great. So if you're really interested in trying, you know, different cuisines from different countries, um, Bacchanal, I think, is just one of those uh, spots where it's just worth it if you're if you're not sure and you want to have a try and you don't want to um, spend the money on the one dish and you want to try different things just to see you know maybe in the future when you go visit somewhere else or on your future travels that you just know like oh I tried that at the buffet I thought it was really great so now I'm in you know France or Japan or some other country and you want to try something you'll you'll kind of recognize it and decide okay let me try this and see how good it is compared to what I had, you know, previously. Yeah, another really great uh, thing about Bacchanal is all their hot stations and the vast amount of uh, seafood that they have too. I mean, I, I, we've been to a lot of buffets in uh, Las Vegas and I, I do believe uh, Bacchanal has the most uh, seafood uh, option available. Yeah, I'll second you on that. It's just that their seafood station is amazing. and. Not just that it's amazing, but you know, just what they offer you is just awesome. You know, there's lobster claws on this particular day we went to, as well as the uh, uh, crab crab craw claws. In addition to your kind of your staples, you know, the snow crab legs and everything else. But you know, you just you just have so much to choose from, um, which is so great. And I know for you, you love those clams that they provided over at the Asian station. Yeah, those, those clams were amazing. I mean, they tasted really, really fresh and there's no like sand or grits into it. I think they, they did a pretty good job cleaning it. Because a lot of times it's when you go to a buffet and you get those clams. So, oftentimes, if they don't do a good job cleaning it, you can taste like the sea. <laughs> 
Because uh, you got like the sand inside, you got like a bunch of stuff that you don't want to eat. And this one, they, they did a really good job as sweet was not uh, overly cooked or anything, so it wasn't rubbery by any means. And it, and knowing or sitting there, you, you see that they're uh, constantly cooking new items and replenishing the dish, so you know those are hot and uh, fresh. Yeah, and one of the things I also did, I like the uh, skewers. Those are I thought were pretty good as well. Um, as you can see from the place that we grabbed, we pretty much tried to grab a little bit of everything. Um, I think the only thing that we usually don't grab is uh, heavy pasta items or, or carbohydrates, I should say, especially breads. Um, I don't know. Every time I come to a buffet, it's just not within my power to want myself to go grab something like a, a dinner roll or anything else. Just, um, you know, I'm always looking for something that I haven't tried or something that's one of my favorites. So. I don't know about uh, you guys, hopefully uh, um, the bread is good, but I cannot comment on if it's good or bad, but it seems fine to me, at least from what I see. Maybe next time you could grab some bread and try it out, Simon. Yeah, maybe just uh, <laughs> I, I know they have all that cheese in there, you can always, you can make it Maybe sandwich. I'll just do a, uh, uh, when we go visit another buffet, I'll just do all breads only. <laughs> and then I can comment on their breads, but, but that'll be a hard one for me because I'd have to fight myself to try to try to eat breads only. Hey, that could be a really great challenge. If you want to see Simon just eat bread only for one buffet, comment down in the section below. And as always, you know, their staff is always great. The, the staff over at uh, at uh, Bacchanal, they're always fantastic. They're, you know, uh, as you kind of watch them go through their work, you know, they're very pleasant. It, um, if you're willing to go talk to them, they're always happy to talk to you, to kind of go through things, you know, they're happy. Um, and that's one of the things that's great, you know, great atmosphere, great selection great everything so you know you'll see most people if they do their review on this buffet they always pretty much love it and, and I'm there with them yeah and, and another like new item that I noticed uh, from this buffet since uh, last year was in this uh, dessert section um, now they also make uh, crepes that's something new and, and I, I didn't want to try it but I was so full from eating all that food already I just didn't have space for yeah it. I think that's the uh the difficult part from the phase, uh, especially as many buffets as we've eaten at, is always uh, you get full and you want to try more things, but as you start to uh, pile all the food in your stomach, it's just so hard to uh, keep putting more things in. Um, but you know, you just have to, especially for dessert, you have to make sure you save room for a dessert because um, you know, where else can you just get this? this selection of all these different things to try so definitely make sure when you go to a buffet save some room for dessert you won't regret it i think one of these times simon we're, we're gonna have to start with dessert first and then do all desserts and then do the main items yeah that might be the case hopefully uh maybe next time maybe next time if we come back to Bacchanal, we'll just go to the dessert and eat every single thing that we can there first and then work back towards the uh towards all the entrees but we'll see. I, I, I think that's still a difficult thing because, you know, with all the choices and everything, it was so great. It's just so hard. You want to you wanna have everything. You kind of wish you could eat and then not be full and so you could just keep going. Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, it, it might be like one of those times where you just come here for lunch and then you come back again for dinner and just do dessert only. Yeah, that would be interesting. Um, one of the things I did really enjoy was this... Uh, at the dessert was the cinnamon roll and it was actually pretty pretty good um you know and usually it, it's kind of over dried when i have it at other places um and in this case it was nice and warm and so soft um very tasty nice uh, uh, a good sweetness without being overly sweet um you know just everything that bachnell does is just nice and great and so you know they take pride in all the things they do um to to offer their foods to, to all the guests that come through. Um, you know, always something that I'm so happy with when I go to Bacchanal. Yeah, one, one thing I, I did really enjoy was that macaroon. Uh, I don't remember which flavor this was, but they did fill it up pretty good. It wasn't overly sweet or anything, uh, which a lot of places do make sometimes. Uh, they make it too sweet. Um, for a buffet, I think it's pretty good. You're not going to get like um, other famous uh, macaroon uh, shops, but for a buffet, it's definitely uh, worth trying out. Yeah, agreed. It's just one of those things where, where 
it's not that easy to find a really horrible food. I'm pretty sure if you went through literally every single one, you might find something that you you hate. Um, but pretty much you'll be happy with finding they, they'll hit some spot that you're craving for um, with one of the dishes and one of the stations they have so definitely you know Bacchanal still yes definitely king of the buffet in the Las Vegas strip so yes uh, definitely if you if you want to spend the money it's definitely well worth it And to wrap up our video, here are notable. Uh, for this notable is the clams from the Asian uh, section. I think this one was done really, really well. It was sweet. It wasn't dry uh, by any means. And they kept uh, making new ones, so it was hot and steamy every single time. There was no dirt in it. There's no sand. Uh, just great, sweet clams. And definitely try this one uh, if you're out in Bacchanal. If you've enjoyed the content you've seen, don't forget to support the channel and hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see additional pictures of food and our travels, go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. Thanks for watching.